Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. Now, when you turn in the material handling form to ship your exhibit at the close of a show, you are always asked at the service desk, what should they do if your carrier does not show up? Well, you're given two choices. One, you can choose to have the shipment rerouted using a carrier that the general contractor chooses for outbound shipping. Or two, you can have the general contractor remove your freight off the floor and take it back to their local storage facility. Now, they will hold it there for further instructions. The second option is called return to warehouse. So what do you do? Well, that is a hard decision to make because there is little objective criteria to help with your decision. On the one hand, you're at the mercy of the general contractor shipping company, and whatever price they want to charge for shipping your freight is what you get charged. You will be charged a shipping fee without the benefit of a prearranged price quote. The cost is usually significantly higher than the original quote from your preferred carrier. Now, the other option is to have the shipment returned to the contractor's local warehouse. But there is usually little information to tell you what the associated costs are for this service. Now, my experience tells me that the costs are somewhere in the range of 10 to $20 per hundredweight as an average. So, so what do you do? Well, I have, on many occasions, checked the return to warehouse box. Why? Well, it's an option that provides a fixed price for the shipment. Now, I can go back to my shipping company and have them absorb the cost for this extra fee and still have them return my shipment at the original agreed price. So let's run some numbers. If my shipment weighs, say, 3,000 pounds and the return to warehouse fee is $15 per hundredweight, then my cost for this service is $450. You can have my carrier pick up the shipment a day or two later, and the carrier can absorb this added fee for their negligence at not showing up on time at the show site. Now, on the other hand, that pre-quoted $1,400 return shipment could cost, say, $2,300, as an example, using the reroute method where you have no control over pricing. At least with the return to warehouse option, you know what your costs are going to be by asking at the service desk. Now, I also think that you get a little more leniency with the general contractor when you choose the return to warehouse option. They will not force your freight as fast, knowing that they have to take it back to their facility. Now, next week, we'll look at the relation between the show contractor and the freight company who would get your forced freight. As always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, just relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.